everyone, it's Kesha and in this video, I am going to give you tips on how I lost 50 pounds in just 5 months. I know that this topic is sensitive for some but my intention is to share experience and give you tips on how I lost weight. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian. I'm just a normal human being who wanted to lose weight. I never consulted any professional when I started my weight loss journey. All I did was research and read about all the experiences from our other people online. My tips may or may not work for you, so I would recommend consulting with any professionals before you start your weight loss journey. Everyone's body is different. It may or may not take a year for them to lose weight. It's just happened that I was able to lose 50 pounds in just five months. A little information about me. I was 23 years old when I started my weight loss journey. It was in July 2018. I was between 155 to 160 pounds or around 65 to 70 kilograms. I've been trying to lose weight for a while but I always ended up gaining it back but last year was uh, different and I'm glad that I've been able to maintain my weight right now which is between 100 to 105, 105 pounds. My goal weight was originally 120 pounds but I'd like to see how lower I can get so I reach 100 pounds in March. So here are the 10 tips on how I lost weight. My first tip is to have a reason why you want to lose weight. This tip helped me whenever I want to binge eat. I ask myself, do I want to lose weight or do I want to gain it again? The, I have several reasons why I want to lose weight. One of the reasons is because I've always wanted to wear cute Japanese clothes from size Japanese large. Now I wear um, Japanese medium to small and then from US size 10, I now wear size four to six or maybe lower than that. The reason why I want to lose weight because I don't want to be overweight anymore. It somehow opened my eyes when I started to see my neck getting dark and I did research about it and it could be a, uh, you know, symptoms of or it can cause diabetes and I was like, no. I don't want to have diabetes and that's how I started cutting my sugar intake the other reason why I wanted to lose weight because I was going to Philippines in like I don't know five months from July yeah five months from July so I would like to I'd like to be able to surprise my friends and family <laughs> because whenever I go visit Philippines I'm always overweight <laughs> you know I just want them to see like hey I lost weight the last reason why I want to lose weight because I wanna feel good physically and mentally and this journey helped me gain self-confidence. The second tip is to count your calories. During my weight loss journey, I was trying to eat less than 1,200 calories a day. I also count 
and read the nutritional information of every food that I buy it's at the back like you you guys would see the calories amount per serving total carbohydrates I also got myself a a food scale which really helped me like portion and count like how many calories I'm gonna eat per serving I also downloaded the app called my fitness pal it helps me track the number of calories that uh, I already consume on that day and I cheat once or two times every two weeks during my first three months July August September and then the next day I have to make sure that I'm gonna eat less than 1200 calories again my third tip is to focus more on dieting my weight loss journey it's it's 99.9 percent .9 diet and 0.01 percent exercise the only exercise i did was i ran once a week when i reached 120 pounds because that was the weight that i wasn't able to lose weight anymore the food that i usually eat are rotisserie chicken from the commissary um vegetable salad i really like the japanese onion salad from the from universe i also eat a lot of atkins items like the atkins chicken alfredo beef merlot i also like their shakes and snack bars i also eat a lot of eggs and turkey burger and vegetable turkey burger patty and vegetable burger patty as for drinks i drink a lot of water and green tea i also stopped eating rice bread and pasta for the first month july august september and also soda i also take supplements like vitamin c vitamin e and the ve vegetable supplement that i got uh, from the super drug asahi also i take collagen i mix it with my atkins drink or sometimes almond milk number four tip is plan what you're gonna eat ahead of time this applies whenever caleb and i eat out i always look up the restaurant's menu before we head out and look up items that would fit my calorie intake i usually get vegetable salad if i didn't find any nutritional information online just to be safe I also get any food that are lower in carbohydrates. I'm also a member of several groups online. I actually had a Reddit account and I joined the subreddit called Progress Fix and Lose It, uh, where they post their either weight loss journey or weight gain journey. and it's really inspiring to see like people from all over the world reaching their goals and yeah i also shared my picture there too so i i would I, i'd like to be an inspiration for some i'm also a member of several facebook groups like ketogenic diet philippines and low carb and intermittent fasting um it gave me ideas on what foods i can make and also to see other people's journey number six tip is to do intermittent fasting or one meal a day if you stop losing weight i 
stop losing weight when I reached 120 pounds I think it took me like a month to lose more weight so what I did was I did exercise once a week but these two methods helped me to lose more weight actually I'm still doing intermittent fasting every day I fast for 16 hours and then I eat uh, within 8 hours I'm not consistent with one meal a day but I'm still trying my, my best to do that these two methods intermittent fasting and one meal a day are the reason why I'm maintaining my weight right now my number seven tip is to treat yourself sometimes whenever you accomplish something I usually do my nails or get McDonald's <laughs> I also do shopping too whenever I at least like lose five pounds or ten pounds because it keeps me motivated my number eight tip is to write down your weight either every day or every week this method helps me to monitor my weight it's also good to invest in a good weighing scale I actually have two I have an analog one and a digital one I got myself an analog weighing scale when I reached 120 pounds and I wasn't losing weight but during the first three months I was using the digital scale one I trust more the analog scale compared to the digital scale because it's newer than you know it's newer than my digital scale my number nine tip is it's okay to eat when you're hungry whenever I'm hungry I usually eat one Atkins bar and I drink a lot of water and green tea I also boil one to two eggs and it helped me satisfy my hunger the last tip is to be patient there would be times when your weight is going to stall and it's okay if you just continue what you're doing then you're gonna lose weight and if within a month it doesn't work try intermittent fasting or one meal a day or include um, exercise to your routine like what I said before we all have different body types and our bodies all work differently just be patient and have discipline in sticking to your goals so that you can reach your goal weight that's it for this video if you have any questions just leave a comment or email us our email is on our about me section on our channel i hope you guys like this video i'll probably upload a what i eat in a day video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye